Dashi Dele. Hi, my name is Kiki. Welcome to my channel Himalayan Dumplings, where I share Tibetan recipes both old and new. The recipe I'm going to share with you today is for a condiment that is very popular amongst the Tibetans but not very well known outside of the Tibetan diaspora. It is sour, crunchy, and very easy to make, and we call it Su Labu in Tibetan which basically translates to fermented radish pickle in Tibetan. So I'm really excited to share with you this really easy to make recipe. And before I get started though, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button if you've done so already. Thank you so much for watching and you take care. Tujena. Here are the ingredients for making suya labu, starting off with daikon radish, thinly sliced like this. Then we have salt, Sichuan peppercorn, which is also called erma in Tibetan or timur in Nepali. Then we have beetroot for coloring. And lastly, dry whole red chili peppers. The last two ingredients are totally optional by the way. All right, so we're gonna start off by peeling the radish, or labu as we call it in Tibetan. As you can see, the radish that I have is really huge. <laughs> I've never seen radishes this big back in Nepal or India where I grew up. Next, we're going to cut our radishes into thin slices like this. It doesn't matter what shape you cut them in, as long as they're thin. This step is totally optional by the way. The only purpose of having the beetroot for this particular recipe is simply for coloring your suya labu and so your radishes have that pretty pink hue that you will see at the very end. Chop them into four quarters. Next up, we are going to add the salt to your labu or radishes, the erma or the Sichuan peppercorn and rub the salt really good um, and make sure your radishes are coated. The salt is essential for preservation of the su labu or any pickling for that matter, any pickling process. I'm reusing an old kimchi jar here and placing the beetroot at the very bottom since its only purpose is to dye the radish. Here I'm layering the dry whole red chili pepper so that it's evenly spread in the jar. See, layer the radish, then the dry red whole chili pepper. This step here is a very important one in the pickling process. I'm adding room temperature water and adding enough to cover all the radishes entirely in the brine water, which will help in the preservation of your suya labu or any pickles for that matter. So here I'm using sunlight to speed up the fermentation process for my suya labu. The natural warmth from the sunlight um, will help the good bacteria that's required to give you that characteristic sour tangy taste that we find with sur labu or pickles in general. <laughs> so anybody that has made pickles before you know that first whiff when you open up the jar after some days of fermentation it's quite pungent it's quite strong Pungent doesn't have to be negative. Pungent can be very flavorful too. Just like this, this one right here. Mm. My daughter might disagree, my little ones. Because <laughs> the first time she smelled it, she was quite taken aback. But it's absolutely delicious. And I wanted to show you. Look at it. Isn't that so pretty too? I 
know if you can hear the crunch but crunchy pungent so flavorful I like having it with tukpa which is Tibetan noodles I've had it um, added it as a condiment to my sandwiches there are so many ways to eat sur labu and great for your gut health too and the best part is is that it really is so easy to make and now that I've opened it and the level of sourness and pungency is just right for me I'm going to put it in the fridge to stop the fermentation process it truly is so delicious it goes really well as a let me finish chewing <laughs> it goes really well um, stir frying with with your choice of protein whether that's meat or vegan it goes it adds so much flavor every time you cook it in a different cooking method um, this vegetable being so versatile the radish being so versatile the flavor changes constantly and it's just so delicious just can't say enough about the radish no wonder it's such a um, prominent vegetable in the Tibetan cuisine. Just a hint of spiciness because I added whole red peppers, which are totally optional by the way. Mm. One of these dishes where when you take a bite and you chew it, it's like an experience happening here. Mm, so delicious. Mm, anyway, just wanted to share with you the opening of my um, soon level jar and show you what it looks like and maybe try to communicate with you how it tastes. <laughs>